All right, welcome to another Boat Tour Tuesday. It'll never be out on Tuesday. It's just kind of a joke. Uh, so this is a 2017 Lagoon 400. We dodged all the COVID restrictions and flew all the way to Thailand to spend a week in the Koh Chong area sailing around on this 2017 Lagoon 400. It has four cabins and four heads, and it was an absolute pleasure to sail around the archipelago of Koh Chong. Even though the boat is only 40 feet long, it feels much more spacious. It was a good use of its outdoor and indoor living spaces. The cabins were a good size and felt cozy. The heads were a bit small with the forehead layout. This boat is in the charter fleet of Group Island Spirit based out of Phuket and Koh Chong in Thailand. For more information, go to groupislandspirit.com. I want to thank uh, Mr. Supachat for letting us use this boat. It's in the Island Spirit fleet here in Koh Chong, Thailand. There's a link down below. If you want to charter this boat, it is for charter here in, Ch in Koh Chong. Really awesome place to do it from. But I'm going to give you a tour of the boat. I'm going to do the outside and kind of the more technical parts, and I'll let the girls handle the inside. So starting out on the bow, obviously we have the trampoline. It is a single trampoline, and it just has this one little divider here for the uh, track for the anchor that goes down there. And it's pretty simple to uh, put the bridle on. As the chain comes here, you just hook up the bridle at this point and then put the chain out and it will you know, hook on the bridle. Obviously you have your furling head sail. I mean, you do a spot for a second anchor if you like it. Uh, the bow seats are quite nice over here. You can kind of hang out while you're underway. And uh, this thing, it doesn't really get too much spray. We've been sailing it in some pretty heavy weather. And I gotta say, this is one of the cats that I, most cats I've sailed in a while that hasn't had much spray coming up and over and getting in the cockpit. So the design of this boat is good for that mm -hmm. reason. Um, coming back here, you do have your windlass. Uh, and then your uh, locker right here for uh, lines and your water tanks are in here as well. You have uh, 600 liters, so it's like 150 gallons roughly of water. Um, and then uh, each four peak has a little storage area. Technically, I guess you could make it a cabin, but no, nobody ever does that. That would just be awful. Uh, but um, so then we will take you back here to the mast. Um, all your lines run aft to the to the cockpit, to the helm back there. So it's nice for for reefing or doing whatever you need to do. Everything you need to do, you can do from the helm station back there. And we'll go over it in a second in the helm station. But there is plenty of room at the helm station to have two people. So you can have one person work in the, the throttles and the, and the steering and then the other person can be handling lines or both people can be handling the lines. Um, but it is kind of nice there and then of course your sail bag and uh, all that up there. It is a catamaran so you do have your shrouds on each side raked a little bit aft as opposed to, well, I mean even modern uh, monohulls are doing that a lot. But uh, really pretty easy to sail. Um, there's not a whole lot to show up here except so we'll go back to the helm station and you can see more. Here you are at your helm station. Uh, it's got a nice big BNG chart plotter, and then you have two multifunction displays. You can keep one on depth, and one on autopilot, or you can put one on your wind instruments, whatever you would like to do. Because you can have your autopilot as a separate switches over here, or you can put your autopilot on the BNG. So it's nice having that flexibility, depending on what kind of sailing you're doing, to do that. Uh, your throttle controls right here, um, pretty basic, and your engine displays there as well. Uh, it does have three winches. You can, you know, it's one for the port side uh, uh, Genoa and one for the starboard side Genoa and all your reefing and all that here. These two are manual. This one is an electric and actually just however you want to route the control, the things, uh, the, uh, the lines, you can do that. You can bring, you want to bring the port side around this winch and then over here you can do that. Otherwise you can do the starboard side and basically straight through to this one. So you can run everything power if you would like to. And then the foot controls for them are down here. Um, it has a nice good bit of sunshade. You can zip it up and do more, but it's pretty nice like this. If it's if it's if it's raining too hard, you can kind of step down a little bit and get out of the rain. It's not too bad. Um, and then you know your uh, line bags here for getting all your lines out of the way. And then we will step down into the cockpit. Down here in the cockpit, it's kind of your standard lagoon layout. It's kind of a sunken down cockpit a little bit with your U-shaped seating. There's storage under these two um, benches here, and then this would be is where the generator lives under here, and then just more storage on this side. Um, decent amount of airflow. You got the door; it opens, and the window that opens here, and then there's a couple windows that come through. This boat does have air conditioning, so that is nice to have when you're out here doing that. And it does have uh, an outdoor freezer right here, and then we'll show you more of the refrigeration inside. It's nice. It's got one freezer, and well, actually. Yeah, it's got one freezer and two refrigerators, so it's nice to have that much uh, cold storage on the boat. And then over here, 
Uh, your davits, uh, pretty standard uh, deal, uh, but then they built up this extra uh, uh, deck on top. These are solar panels up here. Um, the davits work pretty well. It's easy to get the dinghy up and down, and it doesn't swing too much in here, and that can be a problem on boats. Uh, on either side, you have 40 horse Yanmar motors. Um, it's nice because the 40 horses will get you up to, in calm conditions, it'll get you up to about seven and a half knots, and we've needed that because we were in some pretty rough weather the other day and it was blowing uh, 25 knots and we were motoring straight into it. So in flat calm, this boat's capable of doing seven and a half on the motor, but into that we were only doing five, five and a half. And if, like a lot of boats are only capable of doing six, about six knots on the motors, that means we've only been doing four knots in some pretty heavy weather. So it's nice to have that flexibility. All right, um, so that's it for the outside and the technical stuff. And then we will have the girls show you the inside. So I know you're tired of looking at me. Let me show you to the more beautiful side of things here. Here is Geraldine to we show you. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, will, we will show you the uh, salon. Hello guys, welcome uh, to the inside of this uh, lagoon. In here we have the area where we actually chill and gather. When it's too hot outside, we can close the um, doors and windows and we get AC in this boat, which is fantastic actually, uh, for very cold and humid days. Then in here we have our galley area, and the cooking station with the propane stove. Then we also have in this boat a nice oven which we didn't really use but I'm pretty sure it's like if you want to do baked potatoes or whatever it will work pretty well we also got a TV in here and then um, in here we have the VHF station and the radio station also which connects with the, to your Bluetooth on your device and then it's a very nice sound, sound, sound equipment or whatever is the name of that uh, in here you have the electrical panel control uh, which controls yeah, all electronic uh, areas of the boat and under the seats you have some compartments some compartments in here as well on the sides then you got also a refrigerator in here uh, and also beside that one you have the one in there which is also a refrigerator with a small room for a freezer uh, area some whatever and then you also got um, fans in the corners it's a very nice inside because of the AC. <laughs> now we're gonna show you the uh, cabins and the heads that we have in here. Uh, both sides are pretty much the same. Actually, it's exactly the same in both sides. So we just go through one side and then you will see how it looks. So in here we got our fantastic bed. It's actually pretty comfortable and pretty wide. So it's like two people fit perfectly in here and then we got fan, uh, fans just here on top of the of the walls we got reading lights on both sides then you got hatches in here and also in the one there you got a station to charge your phone with a usb port or with just the the normal plug in and then we got in here a closet uh like a wardrobe to hold your stuff it's also pretty pretty okay uh pretty okay uh, space wise uh we got life jackets you got also a uh, control station to control your AC because the rooms also have AC which is fantastic when it is working <laughs> <laughs> and then in here we got our sh uh, shower and the toilet everything in one each uh, cabin has their own uh, head the other room the aft room uh, I'll say is pretty more pretty much more uh, spacious when it comes to the bed and also like the size but the toilet and the wardrobe is pretty much the same size you also have AC in this one hatches windows and yeah, also a control for the uh, USB port your normal um, plug for the electricity you got also like the switches for the light in here at the entrance and also just there where you put your head so if you fall asleep you don't need to wake up and stand up so uh, we're sweating a little bit because we're here at the dock and uh, it's generally gets pretty hot. It dock. is it is hot, <laughs> but uh, the AC is not on now, but yeah. it works actually pretty good. All right, so uh, cool. If you were interested in charging this boat, if you'd like more information, there's the website linking up for it. It's Island Spirit down here at Kochong. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, thank you for subscribing. Pick up that like bell. Yeah, have a look. Yeah. Bye. Go. Welcome to another boat tour. Thing. Yeah, I think it's done. Yeah. Can we start now? <laughs> right, wait.